yesterday we were informed by Apodher or Breadman that he won't be coming this morning because he has some prior engagement and that's why today's breakfast is store bought which I really really like it's patar bhaji and then there are sweet buns of course which are my favorite thing along with some chai so this morning I actually woke up with what sounded like maybe a hundred hens screaming at the same time at the top of their voices I mean in reality it was more like 15 or 20 but it sounded like a hundred in my head they were just screaming continuously for probably more than five minutes <laughs> and then I was informed that when a hen has to lay an egg uh, she starts screaming and one hen has to start screaming all the hens start screaming so every day you learn something new I guess So it's the evening and we've actually gotten out. Mom is here behind me running away from the camera. Uh, but basically we are heading up to Lothali again. We've been going there almost every day. Uh, today's very special agenda is that we are going to visit the Munt. And Munt literally just means mount in Portuguese, I guess. There's actually a chapel on the mount. It's dedicated to Saint Sebastian. And I'm only going there because it's an incredibly scenic place. It's like really high and I don't know, it's really serene and nice. And again, I haven't been there in quite a while, maybe in seven, eight years types. I do remember it. I do own a painting of it by uh, Mario Miranda. But now we're going to actually go see the moon. So I've been very excited about this. There is going to be a check involved, but it'll hopefully be worth it. Afterwards, we will also be dropping in at like our relative's place, which is basically my dad's cousin's houses and we'll be saying hi to them also. We kind of reached the part behind the church and now we are confused about which way to go. It is this side. But do you know for sure it's this side? I know for sure it's this side. No, 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 you're guessing. It's this side. <laughs> uh, but look at the path that we have to take. It's so pretty and it's completely tree-lined and lovely. That was a lot of effort, but we made it to the top and the view is really worth it once we catch our breath. So here's a little look-see of the view from the chapel. So I think you guys can see all of the water body there. It's kind of dry now. In monsoon, that place would totally flood, but there's a river nearby. What's the river called, mom? Mandovi river yes I forget and this is like one of the tributaries of the river and there are some shipbuilding operations also somewhere here so you will see something like ship related you can see electricity poles in the distance I can see a temple I can see a couple of chapels or churches and uh, it's all very serene birds chirping all around us giant buses looking smaller than hot wheels ah this is nice this kind of like how I remembered it I think
feel like I mentioned this in an earlier vlog of this series, but we just kind of miss the feast of this chapel. It happened, the actual date is on the 20th of January, but they usually celebrate it on the following Sunday. We were here. We were here. We, we missed the 20th, like the actual feast. We were here for the celebration, uh, but we came out to the church late and we didn't really get that much of it. But if you guys can see the scaffolding um, in front of the chapel that is because of the feast celebration there must have been a mass here that day right like there is and they usually have something called a navina also which is like daily prayers for nine days for nine days <laughs> okay uh, for nine days just before a feast like to bring in a special like holy occasion and all of that we came here just before the crew came out to uh, fold the canopy material uh, so they're working on that right now and we are just chilling a little bit Coming up might have been tiring, but was so worth it. Going down is going to be way more fun though, because you know, you have to go down. You don't have to put any effort. You can just enjoy yourself. We will head down and then rehydrate. Even though it is January still, it is surprisingly hot during the day. And it's colder in Goa mostly because of the tree cover, but it feels a little bit like summer. I don't know what summer is going to be like. But night times get a bit cool and pleasant. I just had a little socially distanced visit with our relatives who are here. Hi. 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 Uh, they have the gym over here. Uh, so if you guys are ever in the area, then check them out. So we're finally on our way back home like sweating as usual which we didn't help by having a hot hot chai but now we know that stall makes really good chai so we had to have it even if it made us feel more miserable afterwards i stopped in at the supermarket and mom got me some bindu phase jeera masala which i'm kind of obsessed with i don't think this is available in bombay but we do have jeera sodas in bombay also it's just spicy and nice 